This is going to be a quick video on some of the Biostar. This is a B450MH Biostar. This is the BIOS of 03 04 2024, relatively recent BIOS. The issue I was having with this, I have a Ryzen 5 3600 on here with a uh, NVIDIA 1070, 8 gig video card on it. It was running way hot. It kept putting 75 watts to the processor. This thing was hitting 85, 90, 91 degrees Celsius, way too friggin' hot. I had to make some adjustments to get this thing, to get the, the, the power down on it. And every BIOS has its idiosyncrasies and I kind of, I figured it out. Go into hardware monitor, go into AITP control. That's a artificial intelligence. Uh, it, it lets the computer automatically, the BIOS automatically throttle the CPU. You don't want it to do that. It's going to put too much power down. That's under advanced hardware monitor, AI TP control, disable that. Okay, also under advanced AMD overclocking, accept it. Eco mode, put it into eco mode. I had it running in uh, the regular mode, which is 65 watts, but it kept, like I said, it kept running at 75 watts. Even in an eco mood with the other AI TP setting, it's running about 62 watts, which is fine. That's quite stable for this, you know, for this CPU. It's only a 65 watt CPU. Why would I run, be running, you know, 72, 75 watts into it? It's just going to make it run hot. Basically, at the door, this thing is set to boost. And I don't want it to do that. It's just running too hot. Another thing on this, I cannot find any way to adjust the fan speed. It's, I could probably use a program up in Windows, but uh, I can't adjust the fan speed. That's another thing. It's kind of a weird board. I picked these up really cheap. I got these for $57 and I flipped computers on the side. And it's an okay board, but another thing, the audio port on this, it's way much static. What I use on these, I built a lot of budget computers, so I'm used to this. Let me um, let me let me pull it out and show you. Still got this sitting on the test bench. I haven't even cased it. That's a USB to 3.5 millimeter audio jack. When you plug into the audio jack on the BioStar board, man, it's nothing but static. There's nothing wrong with the audio controller on the board. It's the jack, and. Uh, I use those. I've you know I've I've used some cheap ASRock boards that have the same same problem too. Uh, you plug that into the USB, use that as a 3.5 millimeter jack for speakers, and it works fine. Again, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the audio controller on the board. It's the jack. Also, to get TPM set up in this, uh, I had to set it to uh, its its base settings. I went in and disabled or disabled CSM and enabled. Uh, secure boot and it kept coming up as secure boot not enabled and then I had to go back to the base settings. It's it's kind of a weird bias. Like I said, they all have their little idiosyncrasies. It's hard to know every bias. Uh, do not enable fast boot. A lot of people do that. Don't enable fast boot because then you have to pull the CMOS battery to get back into the BIOS. But I mean, for fifty-seven, actually, and I messaged the seller on eBay about the audio port bad on this. I bought seven of these boards because they were so cheap, and he gave me a partial refund. So pretty legit seller, but it is a budget board. You're not going to get perfection out of this. This will help you if, if, you're, if your computer is overheating. Those are the BIOS settings that I changed to get my CPU power under control. 62 watts is the maximum I'm getting right now. Uh, it's running. Uh, I was just playing Fortnite on this. I was running high 60s to like 72 degrees Celsius on a CPU, which is fine. That's what I expected to run. A little lower would be great, but that's quite acceptable. I'm not hitting 85 92 degrees Celsius anymore. 
turn the power on. Okay, that's a wrap.